Today we're going to cover one of the most common questions we get when it pertains to the labor screen. And that question is, why can I not apply a production rate to my labor line? Well, in most cases, it's a very simple answer. And that answer is, is let's look at the production multiplier column, and you'll notice that it has a zero. Well, think back to simple math. If you multiply 2 times 0, the answer is 0. You're not going to get anything because multiplying by 0 gives you 0 as a result. Well, that's all we're doing here on the labor screen. So in this case, if I typed in my production rate in any of those columns available, cost per estimated unit, EU per hour, EU per crew day, EU per man day, it doesn't matter. The program is going to hold mathematical equations. So in this case, I could type in, hey, I can do eight lineal foot of framing a wall per hour. However, it didn't hold. Simply go to the production multiplier column and type in a one. Once you do that, you'll realize that the number that you had just typed in prior is actually displaying for you. And now you're quantifying some production on that labor line. If you run into this in a project and you need some more assistance, please feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We're happy to assist you in any way we can and point you in the right direction. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.